Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm gonna take you on a tour of New Orleans, the big easy, and show you some of the top things to do, see, and eat here. This is gonna be the ultimate itinerary if you're coming here for 48 to 72 hours, so let's get into it. First stop on our tour is Jackson Square. It's a national historic landmark in the center of French Quarter. There are countless street performers, small vendors, and shops. This is also one of the most visited sites in New Orleans and home to the St. Louis Cathedral. can't come to New Orleans without getting a beignet, so our next stop is Café du Monde. I wish I could say that this was the best beignet I've ever had, but far from it. Some of our beignets were perfectly cooked, others were hard as a rock. Um, if you're looking for some amazing beignets, I recommend Café Beignet. After that sugar rush, we are heading to Louis Armstrong Park. This is a short walk from French Quarters to this beautiful park with a small pond, unique statues, and just great place to take a walk. After Louis Armstrong Park, we've stopped at Bourbon Street and people were already getting their drink on early in the afternoon. We checked out some of these talented kids going crazy on the drums and then after we headed to Moonwalk River Front Park just to check out the Mississippi River. After all that walking, you're gonna build an appetite so we drove to get some of the best fried chicken I've ever had at Willie Mae Scotch House. The food here is no joke. The chicken is crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. We also ordered the butter beans as our side dish, which was delicious. Three pieces of chicken, one side was $17. It's a little pricey, but it's definitely worth every penny. After this delicious meal, we are heading to City Park. This is kind of like Central Park in New York or Stanley Park in Vancouver. It is absolutely humongous. It sits on 13 acres and it's the 20th most visited public park in the United States. There is something for everyone here. There are so many attractions from train rides throughout the park to huge ponds full of different species of birds. There's a botanical garden, museum of art, and even a Cafe du Monde in the park. I've never had Bananas Foster before, so we're gonna end our first day by heading to Brennan's to get their famous Banana Foster. Each order is made table side and they explain the origins of the dish while cooking. If you have never had Bananas Foster, this is the spot to get it at. It's delicious. We're going to start off day two by checking out Canal Street and the famous streetcars before heading to get breakfast at Ruby Slipper.
We ordered a mimosa, the eggs benedict, and an omelet. Everything was absolutely delicious. If you're looking for a great spot for breakfast in the French quarters, this is it. After breakfast, we drove down to the Garden District and our first stop was Lafayette Cemetery. Cemeteries in New Orleans are above ground because New Orleans is at sea level or below. It was definitely a unique experience seeing tombs above ground. Our next stop is my favorite donut shop, District Donuts. The coconut cream donut here is absolute fire. It is some of the best donuts in New Orleans. We got some coffee and the trio sliders as well, which consisted of chicken, beef, and pork belly. The sliders were all delicious. I can't recommend District Donuts enough. After District Donuts, we wanted to go to Commander's Palace, but we didn't have the proper dress code. The food and desserts here are amazing. Just make sure that you're dressed properly and get the bread pudding souffle. It is delicious. You can thank me later. Voodoo flavor. Next stop is the World War II Museum. There is so much to see here and I am by no means a history buff, but this is one of the best museums in the country. So if you have a little extra time, it's definitely worth a stop. can't come to New Orleans and not get a po' boy, so we headed to Parkway Bakery and Tavern. We got the James Brown and the French bread pudding. The sandwiches here are massive, so it's enough to share between two people, but the star of the show was the French bread pudding. That thing is delicious. Next up, we're heading for a sunset jazz cruise on the Mississippi River. This cruise is two hours long with a live jazz band. The sunset over the Mississippi River was breathtaking and the footage doesn't do it justice. If you're gonna spend any money on a tour in New Orleans, this is a good one to choose.
After this amazing sunset cruise, we're gonna go and get some Thai food at Thai Hei Nola. This is one of the few places that sells my favorite dish, which is khao soy. The food here was delicious. The customer service was great. Highly recommend this place if you're looking for some good Thai food in New Orleans. After the Thai food, we went down to Bourbon Street to see some of this carnage in action. It is absolute mayhem here during the weekend, but it was amazing. We had a great time. The next day we woke up early to do my favorite activity, which was the Gator Tour. We used Louisiana Tour Company. I wish I knew our tour guide's name. He made the whole experience memorable. I asked him if I could touch a gator. I thought he would say no, but he made it happen. And that was one of the experiences that I'll never forget. The whole tour was amazing. We saw plenty of gators and learned quite a bit about Louisiana swamp and marshlands. If you're looking to do a gator tour, the Louisiana Tour Company is the way to go. Next stop is Hanson Snow Blitz. The shave ice here is just as good as any in Hawaii. The ice is soft, melts in your mouth, and the flavors are delicious. I went with coconut, lilikoi, and strawberry, and it was absolutely amazing. Definitely worth the drive. If you're looking for hotel recommendation, we stayed at the Bienville house. It was clean, the staff was great, and it was walking distance to just about everything. Also, it was fairly cheap. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.